And we are back. I just want to point out we do this because I use a phone and my phone kind of runs low on memory. So doing this makes it a little bit easier, not much. Watch yourself behind you. Yep. I want you to get hit, all right? Well, I'm sure you wouldn't hit me. I sure hope Should not. be some of the best drivers in the state. Y'all got the best training for driving, right? That is true. I would hope. He is our best driver, too. He, he thinks you're not a very good driver. He says you're going to run me over. I never I said that. that. How you doing today? I, I just don't think he trusts you driving. I don't know. I trust you. I think you're probably a good driver. You got in here pretty all right. Yeah, well, I came from here for a while. That you know of, right? <laughs> That'd be five cars, I believe. This one also with the computer left open. Can't tell what's on it, but there's something left on it for sure. And we got 3528 State Boy, Michigan State Police. See what else we might be able to see on this screen over here. Not very good angle. Very hard to get a good picture. If they're asking you to take a couple tests, I'd just suggest you don't. Most people fail them sober, let alone drunk. Now see, they're probably going to establish probable cause, as they say, out of him. They're going to say he messed up these tests one way or the other. These tests are completely subjective. They're not science-based tests. The only science-based tests are blood and urine. And one of the state boys leaving. No, oh, never mind. He ain't leaving. He's just letting people out. That was nice of him. You couldn't keep it up past three, though. I mean, come on now. Oh, really, though? You were trying. All right. Like I said, sir, most people fail them sober, let alone drunk. They can only hurt you, not help you with those tests.
That's more than I could do right now, and I'm telling you, I'm sober as shit. I got skater's legs. I'm shit sober, and I couldn't do that to save my life. Look pretty good on camera. You didn't stumble. I mean, that's only fair. It's only fair. If you expect him to do it, you should be able to do it perfectly, too. You're fine, you're fine to videotape. Obstruction, uh, obstruction is a physical charge. I'm, I'm freedom of speech. Right, you can videotape, but just don't interfere with what they're doing. I'm not. Interfering is physical. Or yelling at them as an that, That's not a physical thing. Interfering would be me getting in between the two of them and I'm stopping them. You not to interfere with what they're doing. What's your name and a badge number, sir? Maples, 1435. Maples? Yes, sir. All right. Could I also get a business card from you, maybe? We don't carry cards. You don't carry no cards. Wouldn't that be you ordering me to talk, not to talk under threat of arrest? Or are you ordering me not to talk under threat of arrest? I'm telling you not to interfere with what they're doing, okay? I was not interfering in the first place, sir. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, turn around. You can, it's not against the law. They might not want you to, but it's not against the law. They're, they're all wearing sunglasses. What's the difference? They can't lawfully order you to take them off. They can take them off if they decide to arrest you. Because you probably can't have sunglasses in jail. You look too cool in jail. All those tests are voluntary. You don't have to take them. EBT. Only one you have to take, or PBT, sorry. <laughs> That's twice they tried to tell me I'm interfering just by being there. That's kind of funny. Advising people of their rights is interfering. I did not know that. Did you any? Did any of you guys know that? I sure didn't.